do you want to get married? And some people may say yes. I think marriage is not as it is advertised. I believe on TV, some marriages may seem very pleasant, very happy, very joyful. And I call that stage, if that is a stage, I call that stage, in some cases, let me say it like this. I believe there is a stage called the building stage. And you may say, Uncle Kath, what do you mean by that? Okay. In the beginning, maybe some, when you get married, maybe you are so happy, so joyful, so excited about your spouse. Maybe like so many things are right, but past the honeymoon phase, and these are my terms. Um, I believe the stage after that is called, um, what is it called? Lost my train of thought. It's called the building stage. The building stage is when, and these are my terms, so <laughs> work with me. The building stage is when you and the spouse are working together to make things work. You see stuff in me that you don't like. I see stuff in you that you don't like. I was raised as a child like this. You were raised like this. I was raised in this country. You were raised in that country. We went by these traditions. You went by those traditions. My mom and dad thought like this. Your mom and dad thought like this. I was into this and that, and you were in whatever else like that or something different. So the building stage is working together finding commonality against what is different between the two of you. So pretty much, in short, compromising. I may be doing wrong, right? Uncle Kev may be doing wrong, but I don't know that I am doing wrong. So I may have to be told by the spouse like, hey, Kevin, you really should not be doing this and doing that. And I may not see it. I may not agree. So in the building stage, it may not be so romantic. It may not be so loving, caring, but I believe you have to endure. In the honeymoon phase, what is the saying? Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> like everything, 
or let me say for some, many things are happy because it is the beginning. I guess in some cases, I guess it is the beginning. You moving in with the person and blah, 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 blah. It may be the beginning or not so far from the beginning, perhaps. But after time, you may begin noticing stuff like, hey, this person doesn't put down the toilet seat. <laughs> this person likes to lay around their clothes all around the house. This person doesn't take out the trash like the building stage is where you all are correcting each other, compromising, trying to make things work between the two. I'm different from you. You are different from me. I may be doing wrong. You may be doing wrong. So we need to help each other, work with each other, change. Yes, we do need to change so we can make the marriage work. So in saying that, I believe some people, and I think what I am saying is so true, and if it be the case, I believe some people don't see that. I think some people believe that everything should be perfect right when you get married as if I think some people believe that as if we are in the story of Snow White or Cinderella I don't know those stories too well let's say like uh what is a good story that where everything is happy and no problems and stuff like that like a fairy tale some type of fictional novel, <laughs> fictional story that is not really true. I hope this is making sense. If you marry, I think it is extremely wise to marry based upon the personality. That woman may have large breasts, a big old behind, but how is her personality? That man may have so much money. He may have a Camaro, a Maserati. He may have a Mercedes. He may have, I don't know too much about cars, but he may have so much, so many cars. He may have all kinds of money but how is his personality i think many people divorce because of the personality and if that is the case why not choose a person based upon the personality a base hmm, based upon the personality in the beginning right Yes, that woman may look fine. That man may look handsome. You know, that woman may look like she will make some pretty babies, but is it worth it? You are, if this fits you, you are marrying based upon ignorance. Marion because she has long hair and a cute smile. What is wrong with you? Look deeper, man. Because I believe in everyone's marriage, the honeymoon phase will pass to where you need to go to the building stage as I see it. You need to build maybe past or deep into the building stage maybe the honeymoon phase will return 
but I think it is going to take work. And I think some people are not willing to work because they think inside of their brain that they should divorce and find another man, then divorce and find another man or woman and do this recycling. Am I saying that right? Do this cycle thing to where if there is problems, then that means she isn't the one or he isn't the one. How weird thinking is that? You want perfection, but are you willing to work toward it? You want the woman or man to understand you, <laughs> to do what you want them to do. You want everything to be perfect, but are you willing to work toward that? Some may not be. Some may be strange thinking and think that it should already be that way already, like this, what is it called? What is that called? True love, not true love. Uh, what is that called to where some people think that there is a woman made for you or a man made for you to where I can't even think about soulmates. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in soulmates. No. Soulmates to the point to where what I mean by soulmates to where everything is perfect and no work have to be done. I think that is fantasy. I think you will always have to put in work to make a marriage work because I believe the honeymoon phase will pass. I guess it can come back if you put in work during the building stage. You have to build. And God bless you.